There is KD5 and m Yeah, we got a we got a few packages. We got a few packages here in, in uh, the last uh, oh, I'd say within the last couple weeks. Um, a few things that we're gonna use for our solar setup. So as you can see, I've already kind of unwrapped some of this stuff here, but I thought I'd put it back in there and we'll make a video and show everybody what we got. Kind of explain what what this stuff is what it does and that kind of thing so okay first package we got this on ebay we got this one on ebay okay all right we have here ah we have a blue c single circuit on off battery switch okay so yeah i got these on ebay the seller was selling these for twenty dollars twenty dollars ship to your door twenty dollars on off switch it's rated at 300 amps continuous so there's the specs we can kind of maybe get the specs in here let's see here See here, we get the specs in there. 300 amps continuous, 500 amps for one for five minutes, 700 amps for 100 seconds, and 1500 amps for 2.5 seconds. So, and the maximum voltage DC voltage is 48 volts. So you can kind of see that maybe right there. But, okay, so that's what we got, $20 on eBay. So that's my first little, my first little part. What we'll be doing with this is this will be a cut off to cut off the batteries, the battery bank. Switch it off from the charge controller. So you can see, if you can see up inside there, you can see the, the uh, let me zoom in on that a little bit there, you can kind of see the uh, the posts. In fact, we can open this up and just pull it out like this, and you can actually see the posts on the back of that. See, in this side you hook to the battery, and this side you hook to the common. So your battery goes on this side, charge controller goes on this side. So that's that's that little puppy right there. And see, it's got removable side pieces where you can take this out snaps in place screws down saying you can get that switch from off to on okay all right that's this little part right here okay all right okay all right, that's and the second one is another another battery cut off, another identical battery cut off, twenty dollars a piece. The guy shipped them to me in two different packages, but oh well, I got them. And this right here can be used to cut off from the battery to an inverter or to anything else that's powered by the battery bank. You know that draws like high current and stuff you could put that in there and shut off inverter or you know other other powered equipment you know heavy powered equipment so that's our other okay all right okay this next box right here you see I've already opened this one I haven't opened this package yet this package we're gonna we're gonna look at this together but this other is is another little part of my puzzle part of our solar puzzle this is breakers which we'll get to that here in a second and I'll show you what all about this Okay, this is breakers. This is a what is called the G 
GFI and this is made by this is put out by midnight this is a, a DC GFP 63 is what this is and uh, what we're doing here is we're going by what by what midnight is doing with their system as far as as far as uh, uh, ground fault interruption and what this is going to do is this is going to uh, protect against ground faults. This will. This is part of. It's part of code. It's part of uh, uh, NFP NFPA 70 code electrical code here in the United States. And uh, what they're doing basically here is they have a charge controller. And here's your. Here's your uh, solar panels. Well, it's PV negative and PV plus is right there. And this is your input to your charge controller from your solar panels over here. So what it does is it goes from the solar panels, the power it does, into a combiner. And then from there, it goes to PV input. I believe that is plus. Let's see, no, that would be, that would be negative. So it's PV negative, and then you've got PV plus right here. So your power and everything's coming to these two bus bars right here. And then from there it goes to, from there it goes through to this breaker. This is a 63 amp breaker. And then from there it goes to this other 63 amp breaker, which is, which is ganged to a half amp breaker and these are DC breakers so it's ganged to a half amp DC breaker that is tied between your negative and your battery minus and your your DC negative right here it's tied between that and then it goes from here over to let's see it goes from here over to where the ground is and this ground is grounded right in here. So if you see this right here, this, this part is grounded and it ties from here over to this ground rod. You can see it's kind of kind of faint with the drawing. But anyhow, you can see it's tied into the ground rod to this grounding bus. And then from here it goes, wait a minute, from here from here it goes over to this half amp breaker. So if there's any kind of ground current, ground fault or anything on this side, on the, uh, on the side where the uh, batteries and the uh, charge controller are, well then it's gonna trigger, if it goes over a half amp, it's going to trigger this breaker, which will in which since it's ganged to this other breaker here, meaning they I'll show you here in a second what I mean by ganged. But since it's ganged to this breaker here, well, it will actually cut off the power from the solar panels over here, where it goes into these into these inputs here. It comes off of this input with the positive side of it and goes to this breaker here. Well, you've got a breaker here that covers that cuts off if you go over 63 amps. This breaker right here will also cut off if it goes over 63 amps, but it's also ganged to this half amp breaker that is tied into the ground fault. So if any current above five amp or by above half an amp goes through here, goes to this breaker, well it's going to trigger this breaker and kick this breaker, which will do, which will also kick this breaker which will cut off the power from the solar panels to the charge controller and then you won't have and then you'll you'll know that there's a fault because this breaker is kicked plus it will kick off it will cut off the power to where this will not be energized to where okay what what we have here this is the the uh, positive bus bar for the battery. This is the negative bus bar for the battery. So the power for your batteries, for your battery bank, go in, go in here and here. So this is your negative. 
you're positive. And what this does, this goes through to this breaker here, which is 63 amps, because the max you're gonna be able to produce, I'm gonna be able to produce, I'm using a Morning Star, but the max I'm gonna be able to produce or ever have to deal with with one particular Morning Star is 60 amps. So I figured if it goes over 63 amps into the battery bank to charge, well then we've got a problem. <clears throat> we don't want to run over 63 amps into the battery bank or over, you know, uh, so much voltage. So this breaker right here is good for up to 150 volts at 63 amps. So I'm, I'm gonna be running a 24 volt system. So this will protect, this will protect the batteries. This will, if we, if we have too much amperage going in, this will protect the batteries. If we have a short circuit or something shorts out, this will protect the batteries. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> this breaker here will will shut off, will act as a breaker to shut off power if we get more than 63 amps from the solar panels. It will actually protect the charge controller and keep the charge from controller from actually getting over 63 amps. So that will protect that. Okay, so you see that we've got our, uh, our setup here. Let me, let's have a look. All right. This, let's see if we can get this out wide here. All right, this is the GFI, or ground fault interrupter circuit breaker. As you can see, let's see if we can zoom in on this and we can get a good picture. So there's a 63 amp breaker here. This is what's gonna cut off the power, and as you see, these two switch at the same time. You see how it has a hole through it? Well, there's a pin in there. If you see that pin, you see that pin right there between the two, between the two switches on this, you can see the pin right in there. So that's the pin right there that gangs these two together. So that's what I mean by ganged. They're together. So if we go, if we have more than a half an amp go through this breaker it's going to kick that breaker off which will kick this breaker off and this breaker will be in line with in series with the solar panels it will be between the solar panels and the charge controller and there will also be another breaker as well another 63 amp breaker that will be between between this between the solar panels and the charge controller so this one will act as a as a cutoff for the ground fault. So if we have more than a half an amp of, of voltage flowing from this side, from here to here, if we have more than half an amp, then it's gonna be on, in on position, but if we have more than a half an amp flow, it's gonna pop it just like that, and it'll cut this one off too which will cut off, it'll isolate the solar panels from the, from the charge controller. So that's what this does. But there, unless, I mean, unless we have, uh, there shouldn't be hardly any current, if any, if any current at all flowing through this one at all, under normal circumstances. If there's a problem, that's when we're gonna have more than half an amp flowing through that. So that's your GFI setup. And and what this fits, this fits on a this fits on a DIN rail. Let me back this out a little bit here. Okay, this fits on a DIN rail. And there's a DIN rail that actually this slides onto and then these and then these yellow snaps lock in place. And they hold the breakers on the DIN rail. You'll see that here in a second. You'll see. So that's that right there.